Hey everybody, welcome to the Crooked Man. I know this is the first time you get to see me with a face cam. I usually don't record with this, I just actually got it working. I'm closer to my mic now, so you probably could hear me a lot better. I have my headset on, which... Turn the volume up. Sorry it's really bright, I don't have a lamp or anything like that. I'm actually just using my normal light, so... If this, that setting bothers you, I can try to find another source. May I ask my grandma for some help or something, but... Anyways, let's start up the Crooked Man. This game contains sudden surprises and harsh images. The weak of heart and those poor with horror should not play. The author makes no responsibility for any trouble that arises from playing the this game. Uh, interesting fact, my grandma actually was in the play of this. So thought that was kind of cool and thought it would be kind of interesting. There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. Isn't that like a English money? He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. It's a cute little rhyme. Isn't there like more to that though? Paul, whew, finally. Things look tidy in here. Tidy. Well, how come the TV's not facing my bed? Man, why is my bed in the living room? Don't I have a bedroom? I'm not doing a female voice. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help you with, Dave? Oh, help with David. Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. Why did I give him a southern accent? And thanks for showing me this place. Oh, the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice. The three of us could go out drinking. Oh, sorry, I assume I'm 21 or older. I look forward to it already. Well, we'd better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. And I assume... Let's grab the newspaper. Huh, sheesh. Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. That's a license? That thing was as big as this chair. Where does he keep it? <laughs> David dot 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 question mark. You hear someone. What's with that place? Seriously. I'm guessing that would be the female, whatever, Marion? It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him. You hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy you know. Can't even afford much furniture. Actually, didn't this place come furnished? Besides, you told me to look for this, the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. You like David, don't you? I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. The talking gets distant. The license can wait, I guess. I better get to bed. Let's explore this place. See, why isn't my bed in here? Oh, hey, it's just like me. Computer. An old computer. Some old clothes. Or some clothes in there. Okay, a bathroom. Or a washroom. Uh, what do you want to call it? Don't want to go. A wash basin. A washing machine. Wait, a washing machine. Where's my dryer? Hmm. I want to know how, where I hang my clothes. Oh, Jesus. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? Well, that was weird. I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. Oh, this reminds me of when I first got here. Wait, take my sh take your shoes off. Take your shoes off. We don't want to get mud in the bed. Man, I'm tired. I want you to take off my clothes, shoes. Boy, will you shut up? Ugh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't even sleep through this. Is it one of my neighbors? I should go complain. When the heck did I turn off the lights? Oh, 
Knocking gets no response. Knocking gets no response. Knocking gets no response. Knocking gets a response. Woman's voice. Yes. Who is it? At this hour. Wait, why does your voice get deep all of a sudden? <laughs> Part of me is just, I can hear you from my room. Even it's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 205. We don't have numbers, so I don't know how the hell you knew that. Right? There's no way you could hear me from there. Er, I guess so. Sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever, I better get back to sleep. I, okay, that spooked me. Bathtub. Toilet. Wash machine. Sink. Eggs, the water is on. Hmm? Under the bed. Under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. Paul, you seem like my kind of guy if you like to prank. Under the bed, huh? What's down there? Is it Polly Shore? Polly Shore's gonna jump out, isn't he? Hmm. Found something. Got a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I put... I spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye, but what other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? I really gotta come up with voices for these people. Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. I just hope my Irish accent don't come out. Don't mean to offend. I'm half Irish. Boy, do I need to make you sure you don't cry no more. That sound still. Where is that coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. Because I'm a very busy and important man. I hear noises all the time in my apartment. It scares the crap out of me. Telephone. Telephone. Jesus, it's like real life right now. Chelsea, wake me up. Hello! Uh, yeah? Thanks for all the... Not letting me finish my sentence. No! No, I didn't mean just... I'm busy with work, so... What the heck do I work at? I never just come to work yet. Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Yes, I'll come visit... Wait. Oh, okay, bye. Sorry. I thought it was a new line in dialect. Man, I slept in too noon. I'd better go. So much for taking it easy. Vroom. Hey, it's Paul. Paul, what is it? Yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so this. Sorry. I was going to bring it to you, but... Whew, thanks. So, you... You going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yeah, Paul, did you write something on my... On the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What kind of childish brat do you take me for, David? Sorry. Didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. I take you with that kind of childish brat. Ooh. Hey, I just want to say damn it. No need to go in there. What? <laughs> trying to listen to that radio. Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my. Oh, sorry, I skipped that by accent. Heavy thumb. Good, you look healthy. Sorry, I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work, but it took a few days off. I keep skipping. I gotta stop doing that. It's near my favorite cake shop, too. So when you get better, we can live there together. I'll get some fun in place. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All the fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best, I know. Dear God, I want to skip this because that noise is bothering me. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David. Remember? 
Oh yes, they opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Why not make it? I'm making an apple pie for Thanksgiving. Mom? It's not that hard. I like to bake. I like to cook. Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? Oh, this is when she gets flipped out, doesn't she? She's gonna kick my ass. She's going to probably throw a trash can. I call it. She's throwing a trash can at me. How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? And apparently she got him possessed by a demon to me. Say something, will you? Mo. Oh, Mo. <laughs> get out. I'll have you thrown out. Somebody. Somebody. There's a strange man in my room. Get rid of him now. Mrs. Hoover. Of course the nurse is a blonde. Mrs. Hoover, don't straighten. Oh, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me. Get away. Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. Oh, I made him a creep. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. We'll have... Ah, you'll have to leave for today. But I just got here. I just said, take good care of her. Don't kill me! Davy, is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? David. M Mom? Your flight school exams are coming up. You want, you want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here, Davy. Please. Mom! It's me, remember, Mom? David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But she said my... I said leave. What are you doing to her? Mrs. Hoover, please come now. Dear God, bring the sedatives. Someone get me out of here. She's going to kill us all. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Y yeah. Though I guess she, she still doesn't know me. Yeah, she's forgotten many things. She's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better. So you can live with her again. Thanks, I hope to s I hope you can help her. Oh, what a heck of a day, right? Chair? Chair! Why did you do that? Did I move the chair? Hmm, there's something in the drawer. Yeah, obviously there's gonna be a- what? Why would I not check this out? Why am I not on the internet? This looks pretty old. Hmm, these LLM courses- what is that? Are circled. Oh, somebody's shooting to be a lawyer. I guess there must be the former tenants. He should've got a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? <laughs> I'd say so. Oh, great, another phone call. Uh, I go to sleep right away. <laughs> Hello. Hey, David, how are you doing? Haha, <laughs> you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? You really do like David, don't you? By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. And it surely wasn't a co coincidence. She somehow knew the number. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. Why? She said she was so worried about you. If she's an ex, it's all for the best. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her worry. She should just look out for herself. That's always a good thing. Alright. Well, I'll hang up for now. Alright, see you. Dot, dot, dot. Cutscene. Oh, no. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. <laughs> Do you guys ever wish studying was like that? Just... Jesus. Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? I hate when stuff sends shivers up my spine. Gah! What? This is creepy. It said sink. Did it say sink? What was that? A ship, apparently. Oh, it meant this, I think. Hmm? There's a scrap of paper under here. And I'm hunted by a demon. There was a crooked man. There was a crooked man. And he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. 
He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a little crooked house. Isn't there a mother goose around? Why is this here, under the sink? I guess the previous tenant? This is so strange. I should sleep and forget this. Dude, I would be calling Ghostbusters right now. But, I think this video has been going on long enough. I will figure out how to have to save. Yay, I saved! I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!